Okay, so now we're going to learn how to effectively look for nits on a child with short hair. And again, um, the nits are the eggs, and the eggs are attached to the hair shaft on an angle, and they're whitish or grayish or brownish, and they're about an eighth of an inch off the hair shaft. So for short hair, you don't have to do all the sectioning and dividing. Instead, you just make sure that the hair doesn't have any tangles in it, and the best way to start is have the child sit um, sit at a table and have some good uh, natural direct sunlight is nice or um, some kind of a spotlight that you're shining so that you can have a, a really bright light um, so you can see everything really well. And um, the first thing that um, he should do is put his head down on his hands like that and just relax. And with a fine tooth comb like this plastic comb, um, you basically back comb the child's hair so that um, it's fanning for you. And you really want to check um, behind the ears and the back of the neck because those are very popular spots for nits and eggs. So we're going to back comb the hair and let it fall away. And as it falls away, you can see into the scalp and you can see very well uh, if there would be any eggs attached. And if there's a little flake of something, but it blows off or flicks away, then that is not a knit or an egg, and you don't have to worry about it. But see how I can really nicely just fan through and check. So once you've kind of done the back one side, have your child turn his head and look uh, to one direction, and then you can get a very nice look along the back of the ears, behind the ears, sort of slowly fanning. And then once you've done this section, um, you would have the child turn his head the other way, and you would do the same thing on the other side, in the back, slowly, and behind the ears, slowly. Just sort of let the hair fan away. And once you felt like you checked the back quarters of the hair, then you have your child sit up straight, look at you, and chin up a little bit. And then you're going to do the same idea in the front. You're going to back comb and just let the hair fan. Sort of slowly fan away. and get a really good look at the scalp. Just follow the hairline all the way around the front on both sides. And that's it. That's the way you check a child with short hair and obviously the shorter it is, the easier it is to do that process. So in the event that you do find nits or bugs in your child's hair, be sure to check out www.happyheadsproducts.com for more information, more tips, and for great products for naturally treating head lice. And um, check back on the blog often for new updated tips and information. Thanks.